Morning kids, we are out here on a kind of a windy morning. You can see that sock over there going. And uh, we're gonna see if I can fly this thing. <laughs> Get the other camera going here. So, I know the last time I flew this thing, the puck on the helicopter right in the middle of the stabilizers was turned a little too much and it was kind of doing one of these things whenever I was flying. So, we're gonna see if I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have any lights. What the hell? Got to plug in the lights. You can't have a scale helicopter without lights. Jesus. We're going to see if everything that I fixed like three months ago actually did anything. <laughs> so right now we're just in manual mode. Usually where I fly. Definitely windy this morning. Almost need to take some expo out of this thing. Woo, look at the jump. <laughs> I wonder if I'm getting some weird rollers off of the buildings over there. Five minutes. All right, we get it in a nice stable hover. <laughs> yeah, right, stable hover. Flip it to GPS. Cover. Okay, now we're in GPS mode. So I can't tell if the GPS mode, because it's so windy out here, it's having to really move around. I can't tell if the washboard, wash toilet bowl action that it was doing before is actually gone. <laughs> so, oh well. We'll just have to do some flying and see if it does anything different. So this is all GPS mode. Four minutes. And you can tell because it's really slow. sticks the whole time. Just trying to do a nice circle in this wind. There, you can see the flag there. Look at that. And if I come in and if I let go of the sticks, one, two, three, let go. Coming down on the collective, gotta come up on the collective a little bit. Was definitely not in a hover. But that's where I let it go. It kind of circled around and came back. So, I think the GPS is working pretty good this morning. Not too bad. Now let's see if I can duplicate that <laughs> maneuver in manual mode. Normal. Definitely a little faster. Downwind. Definitely did it better in the GPS mode. <laughs> Definitely goofy this morning. Oh, I 
took out some expo because it was kind of squishy right around mid stick so we'll see if this will actually do anything okay got a little bit more reaction out of it a little more comfortable it's still all over the place but that's that's better one minute Seconds. Yeah, it's not a good day to be testing out landings. Seconds. Oh, that was harsh. All right. Much better on the, uh, oh, God damn it. The Expo took out some Expo. So I had a little bit more feeling into it, which is better, but yeah. I'm wondering if I'm getting rollers off this building because the wind is coming right through there. I don't know, we'll see. flight you know we came home one piece I wasn't too pissed off at anything <laughs> us ADHD people we, our anger issues are out there <laughs> but no so uh what I'd actually done is in my expo I've been having issues because Jetty runs their expo opposite of what high tech used to so I used to always give negative uh, expo and all my stuff, and that would soften it up right around mid stick. Well, negative expo is gives it more positive feel at mid stick in the jetty. So I have to go in and freaking swap them because I've done all of them and they're all changed. And I, the same thing with the the llama. The llama was doing the same thing. It was way too sensitive, so I had to take it out. This one wasn't sensitive enough, so I had to put some in. <laughs> If that makes sense. So know which way your expo goes in your radio system, because I'm sure they're all different. Uh, you you kind of look at the, if, if it has a graph on it, like uh, Jetty has a graph that shows the line and it starts out zero is a linear line and then it will bend in an S shape and how that S shape goes on the graph will dictate if it's more sensitive in the middle or less sensitive in the middle. 
So you got just you just gotta play with it and see what it does. So, but this is all good. That stupid scanner's going. Damn it. Anyway, it's it's working good. The GPS seemed to work really good, and you can see it worked really well in that wind. <laughs> It was way smoother. It kind of did the as it was going along, but you saw whenever I flipped at the manual, man, it wanted to go. It was going. So anyway, all right, kids, go out there, play with your helicopters in the wind, see what they do, and get out there and build some.